Hello, my name is Jurgen, and welcome back to Armored Warfare. Today, I am giving you some gameplay in the PvE mode of the XM1, which, in real life, was a prototype of the M1 Abrams series that has become the ubiquitous main battle tank of the United States. And other countries as well, I believe, use the M1 Abrams, but predominantly the US. Anyway, this was made, I think, in the 1970s and 80s, this program, this prototype program. But enough of the general history of the vehicle. I haven't looked it up too much, so we're going to go back to the game. Anyway, the XM1 in Armored Warfare is a tier 6, and it's the first core tier 6 vehicle I've got. I say core being a non-premium, a, a vehicle in the trees that you can get. And I just ricocheted off a Beglit Panzer, really, with armor piercing. <laughs> However, um, you're going to see that the heat round there into the side of the Stingray, 473 damage, very nice indeed. The armor as well on this vehicle is very nice, it's composite armor. And I think I'm going to have a little image overlay in a moment, but I think it's 155 um, like coefficient against armor piercing, 155 against HE, and 2.7 against shape charge including ATGMs which is very nice indeed and you can see the gun although it is a 105mm which you know is getting a bit annoying when you're trying to fight tier 7s especially in PvP uh, and tier 8s the 105 does have very decent gun handling characteristics in terms of aim time Rate of fire is not too bad at 7.84 second reload. The damage, especially with the heat, is quite nice, apart from we were a bit slow on the round there. And the armor piercing is quite nice. Of course, I haven't got this fully upgraded just yet, but I have all of the armor piercing slash heat upgrades, but well, there's only two. But I don't have the extra mobility slot or the extra damage slot. I do have the universal slot with the internal hull lining which improves the hit points as you can see 1875 at the bottom left is what my hit pool is at the moment. That isn't the stock hit pool of course it is slightly lower. I am trying to get the Mark II variant of that from the, oh what's it called, is it the Sheridan that has that? Yeah the Sheridan has that upgrade so when I eventually get that I'll be able to do some decent upgrades to my May battle tanks. We've been tracked a lot, haven't we? Well, the left track has been hit a lot. And that was a stupid mistake on my part. I fired a shaped charge round, a heat round, at a wall. And there was another wall on the other side before I hit that expeditionary tank. So, I did no damage because it lost all of its pen. Side of M1A1 Abrams, however, it's not angled enough and the AP can go through it just fine. I didn't realise, I just played this battle and I didn't realise how much heat ammo I fired already. I had 18 rounds to begin with and I've already used 12 of them. <laughs> but then again this is how PvP uh, PvE battles go. And yes we did just set that guy on fire. <laughs> the uh, flames in this are very nice damage as, as well as boiler tanks of course you know the satisfaction of setting someone on fire when they don't have a fire extinguisher and you get all that nice free damage you can see the mobility of the vehicle is not too bad at all going downhill of course and we did just hit a rock that I can't actually see because it's underwater um, but anyway the mobility is pretty decent traverse is better than that of the uh, British main battle tanks, the Challenger 1, Chieftain, and I'm not sure about the Challenger 2. More on that later on, because the tier 9 vehicles have just been added to the game. Or a bunch of them have, anyway. And I'm nowhere near getting any of them, because I haven't got a tier 8 yet. <laughs> tier 6 is the highest I am currently in Armored Warfare. But they have added a bunch of tier 9s 
in the last couple of days, I think. The update 0 0.11 has just gone out. And that T-72 has a lot of ERA on the side, so I try to aim for the back, as you can see. Just ricochets off the side, unfortunately. If I was loading a armor piercing round, it probably would have gone in. But oh well. And as soon as soon as I reload, he turns the tracks. Otherwise, that would have gone in and tracked him in place. Like so, alive, back of MBT 70s, however. Even though the MBT 70 is a very nice tank indeed, very nice heat ammo on that 150 millimeter gun. The rear is pretty much butter, but that's the same with most tanks. Good frontal armor, supposedly decent side armor, apart from side scraping doesn't work as well compared to that of World of Tanks in this game. But it's still usually better than the rear, unless it has cage armor on the sides and rear. Like a lot of the Russian vehicles. Thanks for giving me your track, MPT-70. <laughs> and you can see with the rate of fire, and... Oh, his turret's just been immobilized, as you can see his gun can't move. So, thank you. Um, yeah, the, as you can see with the rate of fire, the damage output is not as high as that of the Soviet vehicles. Uh, of the same class, I don't think. Especially with their heat rounds. Their heat rounds are impressive. I think I was playing my T-72 and with the heat ammo I once scored a 633 hit. Which is a lot of damage. Especially at hit 5. But yeah, as you can see, 28 hits so far, 29. Eight and a half thousand damage done. And we're not quite done yet. I also haven't used my resupply and repair ability, the number nine orange slot, as you can see. Usually I would have used it, but for some reason in this battle I decided to take a more sniping approach, which is perfectly viable. But then again, as you saw earlier, the armor is quite nice as well. Definitely looking forward to getting the M1 Abrams, however. But again, the M1 Abrams has a 105mm gun until you get to the M1A1. And then the M1A2, which have 120mm guns as well. Uh, both of them have 120mm guns. But yeah, that's pretty much the end of this replay. The problem with Armored Warfare is you do just kill everything and then you sit there for about 30 seconds capping the base, but that's how it is really. Just five more seconds to go, but I'm not really going to get in there. Well, I get in there for one second, and bingo. Intel there we go. Downloaded. Thanks, Black Company. You have no idea how important it is to stop the lions. A few floating barrels there. I oh, know those are the the wheels of the tanks. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. I can just see these floating wheels because when they do that flyby shot of you winning basically they don't show the vehicles in the cap which is a bit annoying but oh well that's how it is i guess so there we go the xm1 six and a half thousand experience almost sixty thousand in profit almost nine thousand damage some spots some assists 1769 base not a bad game at all i have done more damage in that battle before but it did show you the gun characteristics and the armor so if you enjoyed the video please be sure to leave a like down below and i'll see you chaps and chapettes in the next one